G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, uh, today what I'm gonna feature in this video is a pretty cool sound system box, uh, engine sound system from GT Power. Now, uh, this is pretty cool. I've already um, messed around with it a bit to test it out and uh, I was quite impressed because this one has 58 different sounds, guys. So it's got 58 different sound files for pretty much every type of uh, truck or car that you could even think of. Um, so this is going to suit many different RCs, whether you be into crawlers, uh, RC trucks, RC cars. It pretty much covers it all, really. Um, 58, there's quite a few to choose from. So here it is here, like it says, from GT Power. And um, they're the ones that sent it in for review. And here's some set specifications here of, of the power amplifier, control connecting line, audio output power, and the sound box size. Okay. And uh, it comes in this neat little uh, little carry case here. Uh, as you can see, it's got a bit of foam there to protect the unit. So here is the unit here. And as you can see, it's not that small. Now, um, this is mainly suited, I think, for larger scale vehicles. So, for example, this is a 10th scale ZD racing car. And you can see in comparison, you know, the box is that big towards, and this is a 10th scale in comparison to the car. So, I think, you know, the best applications for this would be a 1 10th scale or a 1 8th scale, more so on the larger scale uh, cars and trucks. Um, you know, to put it, try to put it in something like a little uh, 116 or 114 scale WPL truck, um, it, you know, you're not going to have much room there. You pr might be able to do it, but it's going to be a tight squeeze, guys. So uh, here's the unit itself. On the back here, it's got some more information here of the speaker power, you know, okay, speaker independence, 4 ohms, 7 to 25 volt. Here's an update port here, which is another cool feature of this one because... Um, you can actually go online if if GT Power add any more sound files, you can update them just like a software or firmware update to add some more files to this. Now, this is like I said, it's got 58 already, so um, yeah, it's really cool that you can actually upload more if they are available on their website. So, as you can see here, uh, we've got our little control panel keys here. Now this. These minus and plus ones, they do scroll through the different sound files and they also act as a volume control button. And here in the middle, you've got like a speaker button here and that's to confirm the sound file that you choose. So, you know, if you want to keep one of the files, you can confirm it like that. And this will also uh, allow you to um, like help you scroll through some of the options as well. Okay, guys. Now this comes with the... Uh, the little black plug for the throttle control on your receiver and it also is powered by a red JST okay to power this unit you need a 2S LiPo or equivalent okay now in this box also we have an adapter so if you don't have any red JST LiPos laying around you can just connect this one to the female lead here and you can use a Dean's plug uh, lipo to power it okay and all that's left here is your three-way um, receiver leads okay so one of them will go into the this part here this pigtail and then this will go into your receiver and you got your throttle so that's how you hook it up i'll show you when i get up to it got a couple of sticky pads here 3m sticky pads and just a quick leaflet here Quick start guide, okay, and it shows you more specifications, wide draw diagram here, okay, so you got your mode select button like I told you, confirmation button, cancel button, do's and don'ts, so all the information you need to know, normal mode, calibration mode, sound effect selection, and it shows you, can't really see it that well here, but it shows you uh the actual website and possibly how to download the uh new software when it comes available okay so pretty good a little uh user manual there all right guys well i'm going to uh hook up this unit to the zd racing pirates 3 the tc10 lambo and uh 
I'll show you some of the sound files that this system has on offer. Okay guys, so I'll quickly show you how to install this unit. It's very, very simple. As you can see here, for the purpose of this video, I've just um, cable tied the actual sound system on the front of the car here. Now you've got this three-way lead, the pigtail. Okay, now the first one, you want to plug in the ESC lead, okay? So you grab your ESC lead, which would usually go into your receiver. You'll plug that into one of the uh, ends of the pigtail, like that. And the other end is on the actual box itself, okay? So you plug that into the second pigtail connector. Plug it in like so. And then you've got the ones that connect both to the single connector here, down the other end of the cable, into your throttle section, which is channel two, okay? of your receiver here. I might as well plug in the channel one, which is your steering. All right. Now, all you need to do then is grab your 2S LiPo. Okay, now you can use a JST one. I just went and grabbed a little JST LiPo and it was flat. So I'm gonna use that ad ad added uh, connector in the, in the package that converts red JST to Dean's. As you can see, I've got a little LiPo here. And we're going to connect that to the power cable, which is next to the uh, throttle uh, cable there on the actual speaker sound system. So just plug that in. Okay, I'll just leave that there for now. All right, so what we want to do then is power on the car. And as you can see, it's already started up with one of the noises. Right, you've got the indication light system here. The blue light. Okay. Alright, so what I'll do, I'll just tidy up this wiring a bit so this ain't flopping around. I'll put this somewhere and uh, I'll show you some of the actual sounds of the speaker box. Okay guys, so I went and tidied up the wiring a bit. Okay, so nothing falls out. All right, so uh, like I showed you just a second ago, once you got it all connected, press your power on. Okay. Turn your transmitter on to initiate it. And that is the, that is the number one uh, sound file that you can hear now. Now to change them, you press that middle key and it just said in a lady's voice number one and as you can see it cut off within a couple of seconds just to let you know what it sounds like so to scroll through she says number two okay so there's quite a few guys i'm not going to go through them all Okay, so if you want to hold, that's number five. So if I want to keep that, I'll hold it down. Or press it, press it quickly actually. And you can hear it there. So I can turn it up. And when you press the throttle. Okay, you can turn it up even louder. Okay, I suggest you not turn it up too loud at first. Um, it's quite a loud speaker. You can, I think, turn it up five times to, to its loudest setting. So, um, when you're changing different, uh, they, I think they even recommend it in the uh, instruction manual that comes included when you're changing through the different settings as far as all the sound effects don't have it on its loud you could blow the speaker okay guys so you hold it down to get back into the menu number six and you just keep scrolling to the ones that you like Another V8. Number eight. 
Okay, so there's all different types, guys. Okay, let's uh, save that one. To save it, quick press. Okay, so it's a, it's a long press to go back into the menu. It's a quick press to confirm it. Let's see what this one sounds like. Okay, that sounds like some sort of truck. There's, there's 58 you can choose from, guys. Okay, so to go through them quickly, just keep pressing through them. So I'm up to 22 now. Diesel truck. Sound like a turbo car. Let's try that one. Sounds like a Honda, Honda Civic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, turn that down a bit. Get back into the menu. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm not gonna go through them all. So yeah guys, if I went through all 58, this will be an hour long video. Um, you can go through them one by one slowly, uh, which I recommend you do, so you can hear all of them. I like, I have heard all of them. Um, it does save your last one, so I can show you that. Okay. So save that Honda Civic one. So it's got a memory, once you turn your car off, like I just previously did, just a second ago, once you turn it back on, it will save it, okay? And you have to have your transmitter turned on. Uh, it will only work once it's bound. So if I turn the car on, it's not gonna do nothing until I turn the TX on. Okay. So yeah, guys. Um, yeah, I've, I've gone through the 58. It took quite a bit of time to listen to them all and then hit the throttle, see what they sound like on full throttle and so forth uh, the other day when I fir this first arrived. So, you know, take your time, choose the ones that you like for whatever application you're going to use them, use it for. Um, you can remove this and put it in any RC, so you can might want to have it in an RC car for a while, put in your crawler, put in your... RC basher truck uh, There's heaps and heaps of different combinations as you can see uh, On this unit being that it's got 58. There's a lot of truck ones diesel trucks that I haven't shown in this video for the simple fact that It's got that many it will take too long to uh, Go through one by one in this video guys. So hopefully you like that demo uh, of this speaker system uh, from GT power I think it's a great product, guys. I'm definitely going to use it in some of my RC trucks. I just use this car as an example for today. And uh, there it is there, guys. It's a GT Power car engine sound simulated system that can be updated with uh, software updates. So they may add a few more. Um, I haven't bothered checking so far. They probably do have more right now. Uh, I'll have to go on the computer and check that out. But... Uh, I won't do that in this video. Um, I'll check it in my free time and uh, see if there is any updates. But it's it's good that they've got that USB micro USB port on the back uh, for those updates. So anyway, guys, as always, I'm going to leave a link to this product from GT Power below. Okay, I'll leave a link to their main website. Um, so if you're interested in this product or many of the other products, they don't just make these speaker sound systems, guys. They got hobby grade chargers that they sell, uh, LED lighting kits for all different types of RCs. So uh, yeah, feel free to check out the GT Power website link in the description below, guys. Um, all in all, I like this uh, sound system. It's much better than the one that I featured last year that only had 10 different sounds. So, you know, we've got nearly 60 here. Um, and also, like I showed you, 
there might be further um, new ones uh, via the actual website that you can actually download onto this uh, system. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'd like to say a big thanks to GT Power sending this one out to feature on the channel today. And uh, yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, happy RCing, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, bye for now.